Hi. I've recently just looked at a show, or found a show, which I was pretty uncertain of to begin with. It's a show I've got on Blu-ray. I've got a four season pack of it. They just did four seasons of it. And it was a show I'd seen a few clips of, read about it on Wikipedia, but I wasn't sure still. But I did decide to risk it. It's turned into possibly the greatest thing I've seen, um, certainly of modern, in terms of modern shows. It finished production a couple of years ago, apparently. It ran from 2012 to 2016. And it's also enabled me to say goodbye to an old favourite, which let me down in the end. The show I am talking about is called Banshee. The show which I did love then, which finished over 10 years ago, was NYPD Blue. NYPD Blue did 12 seasons. But the last two seasons were terrible by their standards and it let me down big time. Maybe I was looking for deep down for something which would take over, be better. When I saw it for the first time, it was about, uh, about a month and a half ago, I ordered it, I got it, Banshee, I mean. I uh, looked at it for the first time, of course I was one rub, was full of anticipation of what would it be like, would I like it, you know, would it be any good, you know, but I think I had a deep down hunch about it. Saw the pilot and blimey, <laughs> I have not been blown away by a pilot like that since NYPD Blue. And from there on, saw every episode and not one let me down. In short, Banshee was brilliant. I haven't watched TV. Actually, I don't watch TV. That's the thing of it. You know, it's what my mates said about my reaction to it too. I um, yeah, I don't watch TV. Um, I haven't watched TV since it went digital. Can't remember when now, but ever since terrestrial TV went, you know, BBC, ITV, and all that. Ever since that went digital, um, I haven't been able to look at it, and I'm glad I didn't because in the end, TV just annoyed me. I just had enough. Last two shows I watched on TV were NYPD Blue and The X-Files. Once they were finished, that was it. Wasn't anything to do with it. So I haven't watched TV in a very long time, I suppose. And of course, because of that, I guess I've been unaware of how much the stakes have been got higher now. The standards, what they do in TV shows now. I mean, I didn't know about that. And so, I was completely unaware of the modern, the standards of modern TV shows and the fact that they don't run that long now. Which makes them tighter, better, more gripping, I suppose. I've only got a few shows which are modern. I got Boss. I got um, Dominion. A couple of other ones. But Banshee outdid them, outdid everything by a mile. It really did. Um, it actually has done what NYPD Blue did all those years ago. I, um, when it was first on, for the first few seasons, I was full of anticipation about it. You know, couldn't wait for the next season, couldn't wait for the next episode. It was like, wow, you know, I've got, what's the next one going to be like? What's the next one going to be like? It was like, amazing, you know. My sense of anticipation was just, it bordered on just pure excitement. It was like, wow, can't wait. You know? And I recorded it every week back then too, with a video. <laughs> Remember video cassette? So yeah, I recorded it every week. Just recently, I've been able to um, get DVD seasons of NY Blue. And I saw it through seven times, all the way through, including the last two disappointing seasons, which is why I kind of went off it. It was like, well, I love it. It was a great friend back then. Got me through a lot. 
and I loved it. I guess I still do really a part of it, but it still let me down in the last two seasons. That can never be changed, and I'm never forgiven him for it either. But after this Banshee, seeing this Banshee on Blu-ray just recently, which I did, like I said, about a couple of months ago, I ordered it on um, from eBay. Yeah, I just looked at the part, I thought, well, this is it, this is what I wanted, you know. Lot more violence, lot more nudity, a lot more blood, I suppose, much stronger language. This show is, um, I suppose, the standards and the stakes being a lot higher now. What they do in these shows now is much like what 80s um, thrillers used to do, you know. The content is just like it was in those films. But of course, again, I wasn't aware of that. So um, I guess that's why my reaction to it is, you know, like amazement, really. But those, of course, like my mate who has watched TV stuff recently, um, it wouldn't be of much of a surprise to him. But he did see the part and he thought it was brilliant as well. So there has to be something there. But yeah, Banshee. Well, <laughs> all I can say is thanks ever so much to, you know, Big thanks to the creators, Jonathan Tropper and David Schickler, for creating such a fantastic thing for me, you know, which I'm, I'm well into it now, you know. And with NY Blue back then, you know, I even had dreams about it. But Banshee, like that, it's got right into my head. I loved every character on it. I love every character on Banshee. Apart from one or two people, but they don't last very long. I dream of, I've had a few dreams about it. I anticipated the next season. You know, what would it be like? What would the next episode be like? You know? Even though I've got it on Blu-ray, I, I can watch it any time I want now, which doesn't... You know, I don't have to wait for the next week. I can watch it whenever I want. But I still haven't a sense of anticipation for it when I was watching it all the way through. Yeah, by the way, yeah, I've got it, you know, all four seasons um, on uh, Blu-ray, you know? Yeah, great. And, uh, yeah, that's the first season. But, um, yeah, the premise, everything about it, loved it. It was brilliant. I fell in love with it almost instantly, frankly. And they never let me down. And, I will say this, the final episode when I saw it, obviously I won't give anything away about it, but um, the final episode, I was like, don't go. I was kind of emotional about it. I really didn't want to go, but I thought, well, you can watch it through again. So, of course I did. Haven't seen a lot of the extra features on it. There's some interviews and stuff on there, which I will definitely have to take a look at as well. But, uh, yeah, among the ones... won't say too much about this, but... Um, Odette Useman made an appearance, but she's only, thankfully, in eight episodes. Yeah, she's dropped dead gorgeous to look at and all the rest of it, but, um... But... I don't like her much, and I don't like her character a lot. But, um... She, like I say, I won't say what happens to her, so I won't spoil it for everyone. But... She's only in eight. So, I didn't have to put up with her for that long. And, yeah, I did not like her. I don't like her much, especially the character she plays in this, you know. And she, there is a nude scene with her and Sheriff Hood in it. But it's not her. It's a body double. You can tell a mile off, okay? Um, so, um, no, I don't care for that. But it was, 30, it was um, 10 episodes a season, by the way. First, second, third season was 10 episodes. The last season was um, eight. So it's 38 episodes, 38 brilliant episodes. And the stories were just brilliant. So yeah, all I can say is thanks ever so much to those who created it. It's an absolutely fantastic show. And I really had to say what I thought about it. And uh, it's basically allowed me to say goodbye to NYPD Blue. It's better. Simple as that. It's basically kicked NYPD Blue up the arse and said bye bye. So that's possibly the greatest compliment I can pay it. So to any action, thriller, you know, crime thriller fans out there who have possibly seen this or even heard of it, go out and check it out.
you won't be disappointed, believe me, it is an absolute belter. I can't believe it's not a phenomenon. But I suppose with so many shows out there now, in this day and age, that are possibly similar to it, it's probably one of many. So maybe it just got lost, you know, amongst a lot of other stuff. So it didn't get a chance to become that big. And by the way, the stars of it, I want their autographs, I want to meet them. <laughs> Chances are not very big of that, but there you go. But um, yeah, that's all about that. So um, yeah, thanks to um, Banshee for um, becoming my new favourite. Check it out, bye.